Welcome back. In the last tutorial, we created a virtual aspect and defined its simple properties in the accessories editor and thus creating a control object for this particular aspect device. A virtual device means it exists in software only. So there is no real physical hardware on the layout. And therefore, we did not need to specify any of the control interface parameters here. And there were no addresses that we needed to create. And there was also no physical wire connections that we needed to worry about. Everything was quite simple and straightforward. Next, we are going to use that virtual aspect to create an action that increments the state of the aspect every time a specific train enters a specific block, thus counting how many times the train has entered the block. And when the count reaches three, we want the action to tell iTrain to start a different train on a train route. So one way to achieve this is to break the task into two separate actions. Firstly, in this tutorial number 60, we will create an action with a condition that detects when a train has entered a block. And when that condition is true, it then triggers the execution part of the action, which is to increment the state of the aspect. In tutorial number 61, we will create a second action, which will test if the aspect has reached state 3. If it has, that will trigger the execution part of the action, which will be to send commands to a different train located in a different block and start it on a route. Right, so let's get started. So we need to open the actions editor by going to the menu or control plus F9. And we're creating a new action. So we click the new button. And then, of course, we always need to give it a name. And I will call it tut underscore 60. And I will describe it more completely for future reference by giving it an optional description which I have typed in here, detects the entry of train 66783 into block east and increments A01. With the condition tab selected, we can now add the first condition by clicking the append button. I want to detect the entry of a train in a block. So I select block as the condition type. So I double click on the type column and select block. And from here, I can select the particular train that I want to detect, 66783 and the block that I want to detect it in, which is east. I can detect a particular direction that the train needs to be entering the block. 
for the action to be triggered. We can have it uh, enter from either direction or from direction next or previous. I'm going to use direction next. And then we need to select the state that we want to detect. I want to detect the entry of the train into the block and that is known as the entry phase. So I will select enter. Now it's worth remembering that the entry phase will be executed regardless of whether the train is expected to stop or wait in the block or not. In fact, in the scenario that we're setting up here, block east has been set up so that it never actually stops in the block. Therefore, the wait, ready and leave states would never actually be activated in this block. So there would have been no point in choosing those for this particular block. But a block where a train may be expected to stop or wait, those phases here would be relevant. OK, so that is all that is needed for the condition. And we can click Apply to save that condition. And now we see that the action is recorded here and is currently active. So what the summary is saying here is detect the entry of train 66783 in block B01, which is the block that I call east. Now we can create the execution part, so click on the execution tab. And for the execution, I want the aspect state to be incremented each time the train is detected entering the block. The condition I just constructed detects the entry into block east. When that condition occurs, the condition is met and that then triggers the execution of the command or commands that I enter in the execution tab. I want to increment the aspect's current state. So it would seem logical that I would select the aspect from the list of execution types. However, if we use the aspect type, we can see that there is no option to actually increment the state of the aspect. I can select the particular aspect, but then all I have as an option is to choose one of the 32 states that I want the aspect to change to. For this particular scenario, there's no point in me selecting state 1. Yes, that would increment the state from state 0 to state 1, or from whatever state it is currently at to state 1. But the next time the train enters block east and triggers the execution, it will execute the same command again, setting the state to 1 again. So the aspect would therefore remain in state 1. 
and does not increment to state 2, for example. So using the aspect type, it appears that we cannot really increment the state of the aspect. So how do we increment its state? Well, remember when we manually click on the aspect on the switchboard, it increments the displayed state. That clicking on the item is called toggling, as in toggling a switch. And in the accessory type listed here, if I double click, we can select the aspect and what it actually does is toggle that particular accessory. And that toggling is effectively simulating us manually clicking on the aspect and incrementing the state. So just to repeat, using the accessory type, when this command is executed, it will toggle the accessory that we have chosen here. And toggling is effectively like us clicking on the aspect on the switchboard. So the very first time the train enters the block and triggers the execution of the action, that will cause the aspect to change from state 0 to state 1. So a count of one entry into the block. The second time the train enters the block, the execution will toggle aspect 01 again, and so the state changes from 1 to 2. So we now have a count of two entries into the block. And the third time that the train enters the block, the execution will again toggle A01. So the state changes from 2 to 3. And so we now have a count of three entries into the block. But remember what will happen the next time the train enters the block. The execution toggles A01 again, but instead of this time changing from state 3 to state 4, it will change back to 0. Now why is that? Well, because when we created aspect 01 in the previous tutorial, we only enabled states 0, 1, 2, and 3. If I click Apply to save the action and go to its properties, here you can see we have only enabled those four states. And when it gets to the last state, it then loops back to the starting state, which is aspect zero. So that is the first of the two actions completed. We have created an action which detects when a train has entered a block and each time it enters a block it increments the state of the aspect. Let's test that in simulation. So we'll put train 66783 into North Platform 1 and then just select start to start it on 
an automatic route without routing so once the speed is up we can safely double click on the feedback the train has now entered into block east and we can see that the aspect has been incremented then if we allow the train to keep going round what I can do to speed things up is disable these stations so that the train doesn't uh, need to stop and wait so I shift and right, left click on the station you see it's gone grey I'll do the same with this one down here and now as we progress the train around it now will not stop in the stations here we have the second entry into the block let's click to take it round and third entry into the block and fourth entry and you see it reverts back to zero so everything appears to be working correctly in the action in the next tutorial we will create the second action which detects when the third entry into the block has occurred by monitoring the status of the aspect and that then triggers the execution commands that will start a different train on a route. Hope to see you then. I'm Bob Fuller. Thanks for watching. Bye for now.